Okay, so here is everything in the Neokia haul. I went on and took everything out the box, took all my name tags off everything because Neokia always puts your name on everything. So this is everything. I didn't take any time to look at it, but I noticed everything and I was just like, it's actually... Well, it's not as big as my very first Neo Kyo haul, but it's very close. I want to say this one was 80 something cards um, because the last one that I got when I was on vacation was like 40 something. And this one was like 70 or 80 or something. So um, I added a lot of stuff to it. Um, after I did my shop with me that I was not able to share with you guys. But I am going to do another one. I'm just not going to do it right now. I'm trying to just kind of cool it on buying cards. As I think I'm basically not quite done, but almost done with getting everything. I am done with the album cards. So I do intend to uh, store the album cards. And, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it tonight or not. I'm just going to see how much energy I have. <laughs> so, but, but I kind of saved myself some time by like pulling off stuff. I didn't pull off any plastic. So hopefully everything's easy to pull off. Then I will be able to at least start storing stuff, um, with you guys. Or if not for tonight, because it is pretty late. But, um, I really wanted to do this. So. Let's get started. The first thing on the top is a larger inclusion. Not really crazy about larger inclusions, but this came with this card. The card is what I wanted. It is I Am's card from Follow. And just as I talk about having issues, I'm already not having issues. I already have issues with opening, but I'm going to try to do this. Okay. So, this is I Am's card. This is, whoa, oh, hello. This is Fiddle Love Card, uh, Fiddle Love Card, or that one and then they gave me this follow bigger inclusion thing which I'm not really interested in I'm just gonna pop it in the monster X binder but this one I'm going to put with my other I am PCs uh, I'm not gonna have a lot of room for things so this is probably gonna end up being a mess like the last one <laughs> so I'm just forewarning you this is my very first Psychers card that I am pulling out today. This is Suman. I become a huge Suman fan. And so when I went through the shop with me, I did get quite a bit of his cards. Well, I did get a nice number of Suman cards. It's not ton but it is a nice number of cards that I found at a decent price so I was able to grab some Ugh, this one's there we go so taped at the top there he is zoom in and you know with uh the Psychers cards, I'm trying not to go overboard, so I haven't really even... Well, I did grab a couple of things that I'll actually show you that after I go through everything. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end up making a mess again. <laughs> I see that already. Let's continue with this one. This thingy. Going through the platform card. I am not quite done with the platform cards, but I am very close. 
Uh, a lot of the platform cards that I needed are in this haul, but I am missing a few. So, it's not quite done, but almost. I know the album cards are done. The digipacks, I am missing one card. And I will actually put a picture up so that with you, if you see that card, it's Yunho. I want to say it is the digipack one. So it's the one on the top. Um, I'm actually trying to memorize how it looks so that when I see it, I won't pick up the other one I already have. But I really haven't seen him all that much. But if you do, if you do have him or you've seen it somewhere, please let me know. Please, please. So I can get done. <laughs> but in the meantime, here's Mingy. This is his heart cheek card. So I just put that there. They're probably not in frame. Probably a lot of things won't be in frame. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here's another platform card. This is Jungho. Ooh, he doesn't have a sleeve on. Oh, gosh. Oh, poor baby. There's almost birthday boy. Looks like it's in okay condition. So a little scratches on it. Probably from those silly out action cards. Let's see here. And this is another I Am card. I just picked these up in the during the Shop With Me haul. I remember a YouTuber saying, I don't think it was Shy, I'm not sure who it was, who was looking at these cards. I think it might have been Miriam who grabbed these cards. And I really liked them, so when I saw that uh, Makari Japan had a couple of them. I did. I think this is the only one I picked up though from this one. I'm sorry, I'm having an issue here. But it is definitely taped at the top. And I want to be really careful to not damage the card. But. Well, there it is. I'm not sure what card this is. I think Miriam was saying it was like a some kind of special. I don't know. <laughs> Figure it out and I'll edit it in because I'm not sure what it is. Uh, here's Sungwa. I want to say, oh yeah, it's on the back. This is um from store. So this might be surprising that I did not, this is probably, I think this probably came out when I had just kind of given up <laughs> on claiming cards at the beginning of the era, because I swear I don't remember seeing this card. So when I saw it on mine, or saw it on Neokyo. I grabbed it so I'm really happy to have it with a little thank you sticker on it which is new because they don't really do that but here he is from store card not sure what number but from store card and this is my Hong June set. I remember picking this up. It's two cards because what I intend to do is like an eight pocket spread of blue Hong June if I can. Um, I know I have at least four. Well, I wanted it from this era because I know I have like a four spread right now of blue hair Hong June from Inception era. So, I kind of wanted one from this era as well. So, I was able to pick up these two 
kind of want the same outfit too. So if I could find more cards like this at a decent price with the blue hair and the cowboy outfits, I would love these. There we go. I'm going to put I am over here. Let's see if you're paying attention. Him there. Move everybody over a little. What's in here? Oh, yes, on. So this one is. This is plastic. Actually, I'm not keeping that. So I am keeping the top loader though. Now this one was. I think it says, Air, yeah, Airline says in the back. <laughs> Airline. So. Okay. Airline cards. I love these. This is kind of like a, I don't know, it's a blue wand or something. And I have to find Sunwise equivalent, but I have not seen it at a good price, so I have not picked it up. Um, I have picked up quite a bit of his cards on Neokio, right? No, uh, huh, Yosan's cards on Neokio because I've been able to find them at kind of decent prices. So here he is. I came out the plastic so you can see. That's such a pretty card. It is gorgeous. All his cards are gorgeous. So the blue wand, Everline. Okay, he's my first Yosan tonight. He certainly is not the last because I have quite a bit of Yosan's cards in here. This is another Psyker's card. So as you can see, it says House of Tricky. It says from last era. It's not even from this era. Mm. There he is. Ah! Yichan. There's my Yichan card. Oh, it's a Wonderwall card. Okay. Let it slip in the back. It's a Wonderwall card. Uh... I'll just put him with zoom in. I don't have that many uh, Psychers cards. So we're going to put them all in a row. Now what is this? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's in the foil packet. Let me see what it is. This is... Oh, this is a set. That's right. Yes. I went out and bought another set. <laughs> uh, this is mini record. So this is the mini record eight card set. It was a really good price. So I did go ahead and buy it. Um, this is the card I just bought. And I didn't realize this until afterwards that I bought this card already. So, oh well. But yeah, it's a full eight set. So I'll just be storing this in the... Um, my POB binder <laughs> having a moment so I just still stack them because I actually have a few OT8 sets in here <laughs> so let's go ahead and stack it here's another one yes I know I think this one though I already have this one I bought for somebody I think so, not everything is mine. Some stuff I actually bought for other people. Because I have this one already. This is, uh, what is this? Megstar. I have this Megstar set already. So, I bought this for somebody. Really love that song card. Okay. Mingy. So this is somebody else's set, so I'm just going to leave it in the plastic. It goes there. Is this another one? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
This one isn't mine either. This is for somebody, so I am going to leave it. I think it, they're individually wrapped. Uh, I don't want to take the packaging out too badly. It's going to go right back in the plastic. Yeah, they are individual wrapped. Okay, so I'll show you what it is. It is mini record. So it's exactly the same card that I bought for myself, but these are not mine. This is somebody else's set. So there they are. This is mini record. Full eight set. So I'll put that back in there. This person will be happy to hear that I have it. Okay, put that back in there nicely. And then, what else? Ah, oh, this one's mine. Yeah, it's on. This is these. Um, oh, I picked up another one. Okay, Monster Part. It is taped at the top. Lord. <laughs> Let me just kind of cut it. I do have some stuff to talk about also. I don't have any rants, not today, but I do have good news, so I'll be able to share that in a little bit. So I don't want to go too fast, but I do kind of want to move this along so I don't tire myself out. So, it just says Cake Monster. Was it from Everlong? I don't remember. If I see it, you know, I'll look at it, you know, when I'm editing, and if it's from a specific store, then I will edit it in. This was just in, you know, me fun of trying to fill cards, uh, fill spots in my San Mingi Hanjun binder. This is San. I already have this card already. Sonny, the album card, that's the Z version card, the glasses card, might be the crazy card, <laughs> crazy face card, so, I don't know, let's just put him over here, you're not going to see him as he's under that little part I have on the desk. This is Yosan. I think. Yeah, this is Everline because it does say in the back. Everline with the pretty flowers. Um, I actually have both of them in here. Some ones in here too because I saw them. So, let me carefully open it up. And these were actually a pretty good price after I waited for them to go down because at first they were talking like $30, $40 for these cards. But now they're like below $20. Even some lost card was not too expensive. It was over $20, but considering what they were at first, that was a pretty good buy. So here's the Evelyn card. He's already got three cards up here already. There's many more to come for you, son. There's another one. See? <laughs> There's another one. This is... What is it? Is it Tower Records? I forgot what it is. I don't remember if it's Tower or Universal Music. I want to say it's Tower Records. That's what I want to say. Ugh. This one's taped at the top, too. Y'all really don't like me. <laughs> there we go. So there he is. I really like this car a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'm already running out of room. This is not going to work. <laughs> 
There's Wu Young, so it's the same back. Um, I believe this is Tower Records or is it Universal? Universal Music? Huh. I don't know. This is the Let's see record or cards are those. Okay, now those are mini record too. So I want to say I have a set that I bought for somebody that's Universal Music or it's Tower Records. So we'll see which one it matches. So this is one of those. There's Wu Young. I don't have any Wu Young cards yet. Uh oh. Why did this go off? Okay. That was weird. Oof. No, we don't need it that bright. So there's Wu Young right there. I'll just stick him over here. I'll stick him with I am. His friend I am. Okay. Here my Psychers, baby. Another Psychers, baby. This is Jung Hyun. So I really, I'm going to say it. <laughs> I really kind of want all of these for all 10. These were adorable. And. Unfortunately, the price is for some of the rest of them. Because I want to say I bought him for under 10 This I bought during my shop with me. Um, but the rest of them were a little bit pricey. So, I don't know if I'm going to collect all 10 But I'm going to see if I can at least grab my bias line. But, yeah. I miss him. And Cypress is coming on tour and he won't be there. Jungyun. Let's make star. Yeah, I make star cards. Okay. And then, yes, and I already grabbed my tickets for Cypress. So there's that. Um. <laughs> That's a Yosan. This is a another card that doesn't have a sleeve. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna try to be careful. There. Oh. There's Yosan. It's a platform card. I needed this one, so I'm actually gonna put it. I'm going to put it in the platform card pile. <laughs> these are the cards I needed for some Musan over here. Those are the platform cards I need to actually finish sets and stuff. So, um, keep those in the same pile because they're not, they're going in. And I still haven't figured out where I'm going to put store the platform cards at platform the platform cards at I don't really want to store them with the other album cards but I probably will which means it's going to take up a lot of space in my album card binder and that's kind of scary so I don't know <laughs> might end up needing another binder and I wasn't ready for that because I was just getting used to that binder so and they have the nerd be talking about as a comeback already I'm <laughs> I'm not ready okay, yeah this must be the same person because they're putting Doing top loaders with no sleeves. That, oh my god. Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm not going to rant, but please don't do that. There's that card. That's, yeah, that's mini record. Mm, oh, yeah, you go over here. Okay. Um, let's see what's next. This is, this is Yosan. I want to say 
this is the dupe. Cause I think I have this one. Did I buy it for somebody? I might have. Cause I think I have this one already. Uh, I have it all written down in the book. Believe me, I do. so similar. I have a couple of cards of him in this sweater. Oh, there it is. Mini record. Let's see, I have quite a bit of Yosan, as I said I would. Okay. Next. Woo Young. So that is a card I needed for those dang platform cards. <laughs> um, these heart, heart cheek and heart nose cards were kind of pricey. Uh, some of them were Two or three dollars, some of them were five or six. So it really just depended on who it was. Oh, this is my this came in a set, these two. And I wish there were more of these that came in sets like this one. Um, I believe these are Everline also. No, from. One's from. Oh, both of them are from. Okay. So here they are. So, of course, I need some Waz equivalents since I don't have them. Uh, these are from store cards. These cards I've seen for so while for 40 something a piece. I'm not ready to pay 40. <laughs> 40 something dollars. I'm just going to start stacking him because he's going to run off the table. So, this is a Minky platform set, but I only need, like, one or two cards out of here. <laughs> uh, so, I ended up using for trade or for, for sell them or whatever. I think the only card I needed was this one, but it was pretty inexpensive, so I did go on and buy it. So I'm just going to put them all with the platform section. So yeah, I think I have all of those except for that first card. What is this? This is a QR. Whose QR is this? This is Jonghul's QR. So it is a set. It was pretty inexpensive, again, because I was collecting all the platform cards for all late members. Not doing that again. <laughs> but here are... So there's the QR card. I'm just going to start stacking them. I think this is the one I need, um, no, this is the one I have, and I needed the other two. I think that's how it went. So, once again, not collecting all the platform cards. Okay, this is another set. This is for somebody. This is Everline, because I know I didn't. I didn't order this for myself. I kind of wish I did. I think this is a really nice set. Oh, these are on the same. Let's take them out. Just be really careful since they're not mine. Oh, I really like that car. I could use that for my Blue Anjum page. I know I have this car coming, I want to say. 
this one. This moon hole, beauty. I have this Yosan. Oh, sign. I want to say I have this one too. I want to say this Mingi. I know I ordered this Mingi too. And Wu Young, I ordered this one. And Dong Ho. That's a very nice set. So I might have to. I might have to track this one down. Cause I right. <laughs> I actually like all the cards in that set. So I might want to go ahead and track it down. But it was a nice price. And the person said, yeah, buy that for me. So I did. Okay. We are done with the first row. This is with Moo. Ugh, okay. It looks like it's okay. Okay, that's one card. Why do I think that was two cards? But it's so thick. Wow. This like, feels like a lucky draw. This is a PVC card. I had no idea they were PVC cards. Those two cards. Okay. That is thick. Here's another Mingi card. <laughs> Maybe this was the one I needed. I don't know. But like I said, I only needed, I think, one out of that other pile. So, of course I have extras. Of course. There it is right there. Yosan! Lots and lots of Yosan. This one is mine. Wow, how did you package this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Did we... Okay, I see it now. Which is not real cute. It's like a fold over. Okay, there we go. So this is Everline. I really want some lots of put into this card. I do have it um, saved on Ricard US. I believe it's $30. Um, I don't want to pay three dollars for it, <laughs> so I'm trying to find it. Um, a little bit of a cheaper price, but Yosan's I think I got for under twenty dollars. I want to say, or if it's right around twenty dollars. Oh gosh, please don't mess it up. Okay, here we go. Let's see, Everline camera card. And then, Yosan! Another card with no, no sleeve. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Tonight is, I can try. Here we go. Platform card that I need. Yet another one. Oh, here is the set of cards where I only needed one card. And then the seller had the nerve to take like forever to send it. So they had to put a claim on it. And they finally sent it. And by the time they sent it, I didn't need it anymore. So <laughs> this was the one card I needed. Was this one. So you know I already have this. Mm. Let's just put it right here. Yeah, because I don't need any of these. I think it was... Oh, yeah. I did need this card, but now, of course, I don't need any more. But, you know, this is a hot commodity, these two. Um, a lot of people have said they don't have those two. So, I might be able to trade those for something else useful. Or I might keep them. We'll see. And this is another Psyker's card. Oh, careful, careful, careful. This is Zulin. So here's 
zoom in. Right there. And what is this? Another Yosan card. I believe this is mini record. Ugh. This is the mini record that I wanted to go equivalent to Sungwa. So he is here. He does have a sleeve. That's wonderful. Nice little stickers on it too. Uh, how do they do this? Okay, it is this flap. I can barely see it. Okay. Oh, he is double sleeved. That's awesome. There he is. Mini record card. I actually like that the sleeve, so I will keep it. Hmm. This is I am. Mr. I am. From one of a kind. Again, when I buy Monster X albums, I don't pull I am. <laughs> so, I had to buy I am by himself. But his cards are actually not too bad. Um, there were some cards that were, were a little pricey. But for the most part, his cards are pretty affordable. From older eras, they do get a little expensive. But like, say, from One of a Kind or uh, Fatal Love, they're not too bad. So this is from One of a Kind. Uh, yeah, let me download it there. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is the acrylic, I think, PC. It's Everline. Right? Yes, I, yes, I think it is. think so but I do have someone's equivalent I think it's still at Neokio though I don't remember seeing it I went through it earlier we'll see here is another house of tricky another psychers card from the first era what is this oh it's chewing <laughs> Jim and these two together, so there was a uh, sale uh, thing that had both Jumin cards with the glasses. I'm not really collecting Jumin, but I really love those cards, so there they are. Even though Jumin is part of my bias line, but I'm not collecting them. Sangwa! This is like, um, Who's fan gift thing that came from this era? So it comes with a picture. And is this supposed to go on the Tumblr or something? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it's a, you know something that came from Who's fan. There's a picture, and this is supposed to go on a straw or something. I can't remember. It's yeah. Has someone's face on it, so here we go. <laughs> and then Hongjun. I think I needed this Hongjun for the platforms. I think. I'm not sure, but that's where it's going. So that's the only thing I guess. I don't think I bought it for my Hongjun section. Because he has his hat on and I wouldn't be able to see his beautiful blue hair. Oh, there's two cards in here. Oh, I probably bought it for this one. 
heart nose and then that one we're just gonna put them both in the platform area <sighs> yeah this one i just bought for this one card but you see how many cards are in here <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't that much, so I didn't worry about it. It is a full stack of some uh, platform cards. But I don't need all these cards. I only needed the one card. But I think it only cost me like $7 or something. It was something crazy. I think I did need a disc too, but I did not need anything. I did not need anything. Any more cards except for this one. This is the only one I needed. And then, so, Superstar card. I need that. Mm. So, this is all the image cards. For some while, so I don't need those. So, I'll be passing them along. I do need, ugh, I did need this card. This is... The heart nose and the heart nose. I think I already said that actually, so my bad. The hard nose, heart cheeks cards. Very expensive uh, for the most part, especially for sun and sunwalk. Ooh, let me get that out here. Nose. Platform card. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All the platform cards. Here is another one. I really want to say these are tower records. I said if it's incorrect, I'll correct it in edits. And now here's someone here. I just love these outfits. Love them, love, love them. Oh, actually, this should go. This should go. This should go right here. And then. It's one of the QRs I think I needed in here. It's KQ. Okay, I know that KQ is going to continue to do platforms. I know that because I bet you they just love that. Um, but can we tell them not to do three different plat or? Three different QR codes next time. Because that was ridiculous. I'm struggling to open this one. Because I'm thinking like, oh, I have the card and I actually don't have it. So. One of these cards I actually needed. I don't remember which one it is now. When I go through my stuff, I'll know. Is it? No, it wasn't that one. Are there or this one? I think it was this one that I needed. And here's the other one. Okay. And yet another QR card. This is Wu Young's. There's another QR for Wu Young. That one right there. I don't think it was that one. Yeah, I think it was this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna sleeve these and put them because I'm still not done. Look telling you I'm not done because there's a couple of platforms that I don't have they're in the Okio so 
I do not have them. So here is Everline Snowball. We're just going to pop the platforms in the box and leave them because <laughs> it's so frustrating how much I had to buy even after buying, what is it, I bought 16 platforms and still didn't get all of what I needed. So, again, not collecting all the platforms again. And I will continue to repeat that so that if I do, you guys can remind me. If I do say, oh, I'll go ahead and collect all platforms again. Just remind me about how much trouble I had this era. And how much I don't need to collect the platforms again. As I sort of open this. Without ruining it. Please don't hurt my son Wah. Please, 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 please. I don't want him so. Everline. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Okay. And then Heart No Sungwa. Another tape at the top. Oh my gosh. These people really hate me. <laughs> really, really hate me. This one I did need for the platform. So even though I kind of want another one for my Sunwa collection because it is really adorable. Ugh, okay. Oof. Platform again. Lovely platforms that drop nuts. Another Psychers card. This is Wonderwall. What's this? This is Darkhune. <laughs> this is so cute. That's Darkhune. Sorry guys. Okay, here we go. And then this is a mini worker. What is this? Ooh, we got through that pretty fast. This is mini worker. This is Yosan. Why do I feel like that this is a dupe? <laughs> it probably is. I feel like I have this car for some reason. There we go. Any record? Really do feel like I have this already. And oh, here's a set right here. So this is I think this is Universal Music now that I look at it. Because I think I remember the listing. This again is another set that's not mine. I already have this set already. Good, they're individually wrapped. Oh, here they are. Yeah, this is Universal Music. That's what these are. I have this set already. It's a very nice set of cards there. So I'm going to put them back in the plastic for the person that I got them for. Uh-oh. 
Dude. Struggling to put them back in the plastic. <laughs> couple of things this is another yin house set now you ask why do you buy why did you buy the yin house set because there is like one or two cards in this set that i need <laughs> and this set was only like five dollars or something like that so i ended up buying it i think this is the card i need right here on top is this one <sighs> Lord, okay. Yeah, I think this one is the card. I have all of these, of course. Oh boy, okay. So it was cheaper just to buy the full set than to buy that card right by itself, which is ridiculous, but. It is what it is. So I'm gonna stack that on top of there. And then these are the other ones. I don't need any of these. They're just extras. <laughs> and I still have all the extras that I got from K Town. Well, no, not all of them. I did get a couple of them I traded for stuff, but. Still a lot of them left though. Mm. This is a really cute card. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Here he is. I am. Is it? Oh, it's MMT. MMT from Reason. And then here's another card from Reason. This one was really cute. I was like, oh, he's smiling. <laughs> I have to get this. He's smiling. So this is I Am from Reason with a big grin on his face. Oh, gosh. Pardon me while I try not to hurt this card. Because they... This stem and this tape, really. Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just go on and cut it because it's still taped. Okay, and then last two things here. One of them is a Psychers card. What is this? This is. Oh, this is Yosan. This is Yosan's Soundwave film card. Well, it's not really a card, it's just a piece of film. <laughs> there it is right there. I have Sunwa's equivalent already. So, yeah, there. And my last card. That was kind of quick. Simon! He's okay. <laughs> so it's very similar to this card. But they're different. So one's mini record and one is one wall. Okay, so um 
I guess I will turn off the camera for a second and try to make some sense out of all this and put together a picture for you before we move on to the next clip. So I have just way too many cards here, but that's most of them. Um, the platforms are at the bottom down here in a stack because I have so many of them. So, but that is the gist of all these cards. Um, what I'm going to do is, is that I put that shot together just so you can see the majority of the cards that I got. And I'm going to go in ahead and sleeve. Um, but I'm going to save the storing for the next clip that I will do the following day. So, um, I'm just going to sleeve these and then I'll show you some of the cards that I've gotten over the past, um, um, last week that I did not store. There are some things that I did store. So when I move on to the next, the actual storing video, I will show you the things that I stored off camera. So let me clean this up and I will come back in the next clip. And I am back. I am not sure exactly what I have which ones I need or whatever. So I just brought everything out. I have all of my, I have all of my, so I will, before I start sleeving, let me show you what, wait a minute. Oh, actually, I think they're all at the top here. So I do have some cards that I, bought and did not store um, I kind of switched around my containers because the smaller container used to be for the platforms but now there is too many of them so I had to move them oh, oh, oh. But I'll show you what I have here so this one I just got today. It's Sungwa's wine card. It's the card that came all the way from Korea and it is bent. It is bent at the, um, at the corner because the person, um, the way that they um, packaged it, it uh, was like, I can't even explain it. It was like hanging out of the cardboard. So I thought it was actually taped to the cardboard, but it was hanging out the cardboard. It was kind of like a tab to pull it out. So when I pulled it, unfortunately, I bent it on the corner. And I'm pretty salty about that. But, you know, so if I ever decided to sell him, I wouldn't be able to sell him for that high of a price because he's damaged. So that sucks. But he's here, so he made it. This card here, I just got yesterday. This card came from Germany. Um, the seller sold it to me. It is one of the front store cards that I wanted from Yosan, but it's not the one I actually... It's the one I needed, but and the other one with the hairpins is the one that I want a little bit more, but that one I got at a really good price, so I don't have a problem with that. These I've already sleeved. The Psychers. This is actually from Macari US. This was a um an uh sale with both cards in it. So I picked those up. It was a decent price, so I picked them up. Here's Louie. I picked up Louie from the Kingdom um cup sleeve. It's a POB. So I will talk about Kingdom in a minute. So I did see Kingdom last week. Um, what is this one? This was a freebie I got with Subin. It's Chanbin. And these are some of my goat waters that I've received last week. So here's Sungwa, the water bomb PC. Here's Yosan, uh, Soundwave Umbrella. The other Yosan Soundwave. Here is Yosan's water bomb, Yosan's from card, and then when I ordered stuff from Jess, um, 
this is one of the cards I got. I This is an extra card. I just really love this card. He looks fierce in this card, so that's why I got it. <laughs> and this one was traded to me. Um, the other card, the card I traded with my friend Vicky was uh, the collect book PC that I love. The one where you have to know stuff. The one I said it was the rude card. I traded her that card for this one because I never tried to buy the KCON card. So we traded and that's the card I got in return. This one was a freebie. Here is Jung Ho's um, special PC from the Water Bomb set. Here is San's special PC. This is my, my favorite San card right here. Um, this one, another one came from Jess. Um, actually, these all came from Jess here. So I have them in gold sleeves. These were extras. And there's Hongjoon. So these are all the extra cards that I've received over the past couple of weeks. I'm really salty about this Sunwa card because I really didn't want this Sunwa card to be damaged. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to find him for that good of a price again because this one was like, only paid like $35, which included shipping. So, um, he took about a month to get here and then he gets here and I damage him. So, I'm not, <laughs> not happy. But it is what it is. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is... Um, the platforms, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Um, store when I do store stuff I'm actually just gonna throw them right back in this box but I am gonna go on ahead and sleeve these other ones I'm not gonna sleeve these extra yoon hoes uh, let's see this is the one that I needed right here and then the rest of them I'll put in my trade and sell binder So while I sleeve, I will talk about Kingdom. So, what was it, last week? Yeah, it was last week. It was last Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Last Wednesday, I went to see Kingdom at the Park West here in Chicago. It was a great show. They are amazing performers. Amazing performers. And I was so happy to see them perform live in front of a pretty good crowd. It wasn't a sellout, but it was a very good crowd. The crowd was enthusiastic. A lot of people knew the Kingdom songs. They sang along and I think the guys were pretty pleased. Um, I did the VIP, <laughs> I did the VVIP rather, so I did meet them, well, and I did my nails, um, I got my nails done, this color, it's a kind of like, you know, sparkly kingdom color, um, so that's why my nails are like that, and so I... Did meet them. I got a Polaroid with Louie. Louie is my bias wrecker. So I was really happy to meet them. So I got the group picture. I got the Louie Polaroid. And I got um, a signed album. Also, I'll put a picture up there. I'll take a picture of it and put it up there in the edits. So it's, it's really cool. And, um, I just, it was just great to meet them. Um, they were really sweet. Uh, they did such a great job performing. And 
like I said, the crowd was into it. They did basically all their title tracks along with Sound of Wind and Blinders and uh, let's see what else did they do. They did a cover of Thunderous and is it Case 143? I think Case 143. They also did a cover of the Shawn Mendes song Nothing Holding Me Back. Um, they did Louie and Jahan, I believe, no, it was Jahan for sure did a dance challenge. She did the smoke dance challenge from Street Woman Fighter, you know, by the leaf dance. He did it. Um, they just did just a magnificent job of, um, entertaining the crowd and working the crowd and, uh, they just seemed so happy, which was great. And I just really, really enjoyed the show lots. I'm sorry, I think I'm off frame. I'm so sorry about that. Um, yeah, they were just really amazing. And so, if you guys are into Kingdom, or even if you're not, you should go check them out. I think they played, it's a mutual of mine on Twitter went to see them tonight in Atlanta. Well, now it's Wednesday morning. And so Tuesday night they played in Atlanta. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what the next show is after this, but, um, they did such a great job and I'm just so, so happy and so proud of them. And more people need to stand kingdom. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> so, really enjoyed myself. And I'm pretty sure the boys did also. Like I said, really sweet guys. Um, you know, kind of like, it's kind of weird because they're like, well, what do I say, you know? And it's actually my first, yeah, it's my first fan sign because I haven't, you know, done a fan sign before. Oops. I haven't done a fan sign before, so that was pretty cool. Just really quick. It was just like, oh, you know, hey, how you doing? And <laughs> you know, sign the album and move to the next one. They are so handsome. Everybody always says that about the uh, Korean bands when they come over. And you're so used to seeing them on screen that you don't notice how absolutely just handsome they are so um yeah they are really really handsome guys um and like i said they just put on a great show so i'm still in awe of what i saw so it's kind of like hard to articulate even though it's been a week and it's like I, the PCD was really hitting hard. Like, <laughs> I just really wanted to go through my videos too much because the PCD is really hitting hard. Like, uh, I just can't, like, stop thinking about seeing them live. And I'm just so grateful that I've been, I was telling my friend, my best friend, that the bands that I, like, I ult, like, my ults. I have seen basically all of my ults except for two. And if you've been watching my channel a while, you know who my ults are. My ults are AT's number one, and then Monster X, and One Us, and Victon. Um, Victon is kind of on hold. Um, but it's, to me, they're still together. So, Victon, Wavy, Elast, The Boys, and Psychers. Yeah, Psychers. Um, I am missing somebody. Very, very free. <laughs> so, I have basically seen everybody except for Wavy and Victon. And that is really, really amazing. Um, 
I guess I have to say I have not seen psychers, even though I saw psychers as trainees with ATs. So that's why I kind of say I have seen them, but I am going to see them. So I'm pretty stoked. I'm going to see them in October when they come to Chicago. So, so I would have seen them too. So I am definitely excited that they're coming to Chicago. So, um, yeah, it was a great show. And I, like I said, I'm just very happy that I've been able to see most of my favorite bands at one time or another in, in concert. I've always loved live music. Uh, I used to be a journalist, um, kind of, sort of, journalist. <laughs> we used to do an e-zine together, uh, me and my friends, um, when I used to cover metal bands. So I, you know, I'm pretty used to like, you know, being around musicians uh, as we covered a ton of musicians especially from Europe and you know just hanging out with musicians and talking about music and touring and you know the the rigors of like performing in front of hundreds and thousands and you know so we've we've done that but k-pop is a completely different beast like, we used to look forward to just hanging out with the band after a show or something. That's, that's not what's happening here. So, <laughs> so it's a completely different world. But um, it's great. I really love going to see live shows. So that hasn't gone away. But yeah, Kingdom was amazing. And I guess... As I sit here and talk about Kingdom and sleeve these cards, I could say that I think I found another band. <laughs> another group, rather. I keep saying band because I'm so used to saying bands. Another group. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I really hate myself. Um, I really, really really liked Eveny Eveny E V N N E uh it was the Boys Planet runner ups um really loved their debut yesterday it was my taste it was swaggy it was uh just the visuals were great um they looked like Kind of like that the vibe they were giving off was kind of like a rebel kind of bad boy concept and they sounded great they looked great um i just um i fell in love with kita um because kita is just awesome and i want kita to have the best after unfortunately not Things not working out with Cypher and, you know, he was an SM trainee and stuff. So I really want things to go well for Kita. And so I really, really like these guys a lot. I like what I heard. I haven't heard the full album yet, but I'm excited to listen to the rest of the songs. The song Trouble was really good. Um, like I said, I really like Kita and I really like Park Hanman. Hanman. And I'm going to tell you, I, I watched the Boys Planet show from beginning to end, like the full season. And honestly, Zero Base One, I'm not really a big fan of Zero Base One. Um, I'm sorry to people who, <laughs> who are in love with Zero Base One. I just didn't really enjoy their debut that much um, and I'm really sad about it because I really I followed those guys all through that show Ricky's one of my favorite guys so it's Gunwook and Ji Woon and um, Matthew and Zhao 
Like, I'm just a really big fan of the guys themselves. But Zero Base One was kind of a disappointment for me. And so I am really excited about um, Evening. Evening? Because they said it's supposed to sound like evening. So I keep trying to say it the right way. So I am really sorry. <laughs> it's not coming out the right way. But yeah. So I am thinking, and this is just a thought on my part, I am thinking about collecting evening. And I am thinking about only collecting Hanbin and Kita. So if I do decide to do it, <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> I hate myself. I might decide to go in ahead and do it. And I hate myself for it. Because I really don't need to be collecting anybody else. But I really, really loved their debut. So I don't know what to do about that. I really want to, I really want to support them, and, uh, just, <laughs> I just really, oh my gosh, okay, I don't know, I just really, really want to support them, so, what you guys think should I go on ahead and <laughs> collect evening should I because part of me is just like you really don't need to do that because you already collect a lot and you collect ATs and um and you have other idols you collect and they're just, you know, you don't need to add somebody else. You already had Psyker, so you really don't need to add anyone else to this pile. But I really, really want to do it. Part of me just is like, gosh, you really like those guys. And wouldn't you like to have a few cards of Evening <laughs> with Hanbin and... Ugh, it's just bad. It's horrible. Um, I'm going to think about it long and hard, but if you have some suggestions for me, then please, please share your suggestions. <laughs> I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll see. We'll see. But I do really like them a lot. So I, I'll i make the final decision if I really want to go that route with them. And, um, yeah. But, yeah, I would only collect two members. So I wouldn't try to collect all the members. I only want to collect Hanbin and Kita. So we'll see what happens. We will see. Um, as far as with my other collections, my other collections have been ignored <laughs> because of ATs. And ATs is talking about having another comeback. Like, we just can't catch a break. We just can't. Um... It's just, it's crazy. It is crazy. So, oh boy. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a lot. And I, I'm not prepared. I'm still collecting cards from Outlaw. And they are talking about doing another comeback. We don't know if they're doing the comeback in, well, I'm pretty sure they're not doing it in October. Um, but November, they might. December, they might. We just don't know. Um, 
so I I really don't I really don't want to think about it. <laughs> I really don't want to think about it because I think about that I have not even started storing the album cards for this era. Because I just finished grabbing all the album cards. That's what's in this box is all the album cards. So it's all the regular album cards. It doesn't even include the, what am I trying to say? It doesn't even include the platforms and the digipacks. All it is, is the album cards. And I will, actually I forgot what I got. I don't know if I showed you him. There's Hanjun. So I got Hanjun. And I got... So here's the... Here's the Yunho I have. But I need the other Yunho. And then... I got him recently. Also. And then I also got... This guy, Avocari. So I only need Yunho. I'll put the picture up there again. I only need Yunho to finish the digi pack. So, so if you know anyone who is selling those digi packs, please let me know. Those digi pack cards, I should say. Please let me know. Okay, these are all IM's cards here so they're not gonna they're not gonna fit in those so yeah share your wisdom with me about what you think I should do these are extras here let's go and do psychers we'll do Yosan last because he's got so many um do you think I should go on ahead and do evening <laughs> Or do you think I should just not do it and just just concentrate on the ones I have? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you stand evening or you're thinking about standing evening, um, oops. Let me know what's your favorite song, who's your bias, all that. Um, did you follow them from Boys Planet or did you check them out from their debut yesterday? Well, probably when you see this video, it won't be yesterday. It'll probably be two weeks from, maybe at least a week from the day that they debuted. So, are you interested in them? Are you interested in finding more bands? There's going to be a lot of comebacks at the end of this year again. Um, I don't stand 17, but I see 17 is coming back in October. Um, Skiz is coming back in November. And NCT is coming back, I think, the end of this month. And so is One Us. One Us is coming back the end of this month. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that One Us is, only has like... Is it three songs on their album? I think so. That's kind of disappointing. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on in K pop as always, so that is why I'm kind of hating that I actually want to try to collect another band because, again, there is so much and. Being the ATs is my ult, I really don't know. We really don't know when they're going to come back. So, it's kind of like, well, do you really want to do that? <laughs> do you really want to find other bands to ignore while you finish up ATs every era? Like, I don't know. I think the other thing I was thinking about is that, um, uh, Elast, you know, Elast, 
I'm not sure what's going to happen with you lost. They, they started doing stuff again like nothing ever happened. And I I haven't really been able to recover with Elas yet. I I do watch like their TikToks or whatever and um you know I but I haven't gotten into their YouTube content and I still haven't played any music from Elas yet. So it's gonna take me a minute till I just kinda you know come around I think I of course still love the boys I just hate that they're with that company the company's just awful and um yeah I don't want to give that company any money even though I feel really bad um for the guys themselves um I just don't I don't want anything good to happen to that company and unfortunately Elas is under that company, so I'm gonna have to make a decision about how I want to handle this. So, I think that's another reason why I want to collect Evenie because it's a new band, a new start. Um, they're under Jellyfish, I'm not really crazy about Jellyfish either. <laughs> But I think I could see where they're coming from, where where they were just like, oh, we need to do something because um, because Donhyun just went to the military, so they were probably like, you know, worried about that, so they decided to go on ahead and go with. Uh, debuting this young group so yeah k-pop blues very fast of course and us mortal humans are having a problem keeping up what is that yeah we're having a problem keeping up Let me know what you think. Should I collect these guys or not collect these guys or ignore them? You know, just listen to their music. Don't collect them. Whatever. I'm leaning more towards just, you know, don't collect them and just pay attention to the music. Because, as I just said, they would be another group that I'm ignoring because I'm trying to chase down all of ATs' cards. So, <laughs> yeah. do that but we'll see we'll see how it goes i might become a full full-fledged stan by the time that uh you see this video those are my thoughts let me know what you guys think give me your honest opinion <laughs> about what you guys think about my one to collect another group and why it's a good idea or a bad idea please tell me all of these we have let's get this off the desk in there and then these are all Yosan and I already kind of stacked some of the cards that I um, that I sleeved in there so so yeah so there you have it let me end on a good shot the story video is going to be epic because <laughs> I still have so much to store. Um, and then I'll show you, you know, what I already stored. And so I know that we haven't done a storing video. We've done 
we have ranked in one storing video of the era. And the other storing that I did, I did off camera. So, um, just be patient with me, please. Um, it is pretty late. Um, and I do have to go into work, um, and get my daughter ready for school in the morning. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I want to thank you so much for helping me go through my Neokio haul. It was a great one. There was a lot of great cards in it, as always. Again, I do look forward to doing a shop with me, hopefully at some point. Um, probably we'll do one. I don't know. It's not, like I said, I'm kind of on a buying hiatus right now. So maybe, maybe in October. I'll see. Maybe in October. I just know I won't do anything this month. I've been trying very, very hard to not buy anything. I did claim a couple of older cards of some was today because somebody was dropping their collection. But um, I have not claimed the last two or three mini record cards. And I really haven't been on... Yokio too much. I was on it earlier today, but I really didn't see anything, so it's a good thing. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much again for joining me. Like, subscribe if you want to, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!